today we were able to go visit two campuses. We went to East High and South High to go visit their tutoring programs on Wednesday night. These programs were developed by Mr. Terrell Davis at all of our high school campuses to really focus in on providing tutoring to our student athletes. The tutoring program is open and available to all high school students. However, we do focus on trying to advocate this tutoring time to our athletes so that they can also be successful in the classroom as well as on the field. We wanted to take the opportunity to see these tutoring programs in action. Our Wednesday night tutoring programs are located at all of our high school campuses and they really focus on providing that extra level of support for students, any high school student, as well as those who are student athletes. I started coming a few weeks ago with my softball team and it's a good way to get my work done that when I don't have all the time I have at home. I would come after basketball practice and it was just a place to hang out but then it kind of evolved from that because I was struggling in math really bad like really bad <laughs> and then uh, they have multiple like math tutors here so eventually I would just raise my hand and now I'm averaging like a B or an A in math so it's it's going really well for me now. I like that uh, I I'm able to help the kids uh, do their homework. I even have a lot of my kids come here, uh, get extra help. So it's nice that they have that extra time after school to get help, especially with math. <laughs> if you don't understand anything, they'll break it down step by step and they'll come back and check and see if you understand what you're doing. And that helps a lot too. The biggest thing I've noticed is it gives the students some place to come and study that's quiet and they can study uninterrupted. My favorite thing about Wednesday night tutoring that it's quiet and that I can focus and relax and do my homework, get everything I need to get done. When they come to a confusion or they need help, there's multiple people here that can help them. I like that there are four math tutors here because they can get help from other math teachers because you know sometimes students need, more, um, they get more help from different teachers. So I like that they have that option to ask from a different math teacher and I think it's helping them. The tutor is explaining it in a different way because they're all different teachers. I'm currently the only English teacher that comes in for the tutoring so and also since I teach AVID I can help with history, English, AVID, multitudes of things. The one I know the most is Mr. Lamerson. He helps a lot with like math and things. He's really easy to get along with, helps you, helps, just loves helping kids, loves helping people. This tutoring program could not happen without the collaboration between several parties at our campuses. First of all, the school administration has been a valuable asset in helping us provide these tutoring supports. From the top down, it's a, been a commitment here at South High from the principal, you know, through the coaches and also through the students. We have regulars that come every single week and um, out of season the coaches still check and if the kids need they'll they'll tell them to, to go ahead and come and they come in. I think our building as a whole is very supportive and so you know I'll email teachers about tutoring being on Wednesdays. The support is there. Do we have room for improvement? Sure we do, um, but overall I feel supported in the building. Last year I was the nutritional tutor um, and so I know that the kids really enjoyed the snacks. We offer a snack, which uh, also helps, I think, with the attendance because they know, you know, that it can get tiring, you know, studying for that long. But I think that's one of the reasons we have the regulars. The tutoring coordinators have been working with the administration, coaches, and athletic directors to try to market this as a valuable opportunity for student athletes to gain that extra level of support so they can be successful not only in the classroom, but also be eligible to be successful on the field. Last year I was a tutor, and this year I'm the coordinator. And um, it's been pretty exciting because we've, we've seen, you know, the attendance grow um, every month. And um, I know that we're making an impact with the, the students because of their grades. And the feedback we've gotten from the coaches has been outstanding. Um, it keeps the kids playing because their grades, you know, are higher. They bring in whatever they need help with. And the coaches do a check on grades the day before. A lot of times if, if it's a current sport, the coaches bring them. They bring everybody. And uh, right now uh, we've got softball, they come in right at the beginning and then they go practice after tutoring. And um, a lot of times they'll, you know, uh, play first and then come. 
and um, so both ways work. EAST HAS HAD AFTER SCHOOL TUTORING FOR AT LEAST NINE YEARS. Um, WE IMPLEMENTED THE AFTER SCHOOL PIECE AND IT WAS ALSO HELD ON WEDNESDAYS um, AND I THINK WE KIND OF GREW A POPULATION FROM THAT. SOME OF THEM MIGRATED TO THE DISTRICT AFTER SCHOOL TUTORING AS A RESULT. SO IT'S NOT NECESSARILY NEW TO US. Um, WHAT'S NEW IS WE HAVE IT now as district tutoring and we've added some more things to it and I think it's just grown and improved as a result. It's a big benefit for our kids just because sometimes they get really distracted during the school day so this gives them an extra chance to work with teachers more on a one-on-one -on -one and also in a quieter environment. Also kids are more likely to go if it's a part of the actual practice. I like that they have that option. They can have their practice and then the second session they come in, they get help. So they're here to get help during the second session. This is my first year coming and it's helped a lot with my Algebra 3 class because like sometimes I have trouble understanding exactly what the steps are, but they've helped a lot with that. I've always had pretty good grades, but like the occasional time I have like a problem with something or if I just need time to work, I can come in here. It's no distractions or anything. I can sit down and just get it done and keep my grades up where they are. We're not able to say, hey, you will come in, sit down and do this. So some of it has to really be up to the student to say, hey, I'm choosing to be here in my time after school and so I'm going to make it worthwhile. Um, from my part and for the other tutors' part, we expect that if students are going to be here, that produce, uh, get things done, even as they're chit-chatting with their friends, because we know that they've had a long day of school, and now they're here doing more work, and so we want it to be a welcoming environment for them, um, and our expectation is that if they're here, they're working on something. As you've already seen, Wednesday night tutoring program is providing opportunities for students to come and to see that quiet, safe place to get their homework done, maybe ask questions about content they need help understanding, which then provides them the opportunity to improve their grades and to complete assignments where they might not otherwise have the opportunity to do so. As long as I'm, I have work to do or homework, it's really useful for all those. So most likely I'll be here probably all this year, next year, and years to come until I graduate. When I'm at home, it's kind of hard to do homework because I have siblings and cousins that sometimes come over. So if it wasn't for Wednesday night tutoring, I probably wouldn't be doing so good in math class right now. It's just a great 30 minutes that you, or however long you stay, you can just put everything else aside and get the work that you don't maybe fully understand or that you don't have time to do done. You raise your hand in like 30 seconds, boom, they're there and it's like, Okay, and they're really friendly too. Like they don't just help inside of tutoring. They offer to like help me before or after school on days that aren't Wednesdays too, like before a test and I'm panicking, I can go to one of their rooms, so yeah. On a weekly average, we see about 250 to 275 students taking advantage of this tutoring program throughout our high school campuses. If you're interested in learning about how you can get involved in Wednesday night tutoring, please reach out to your teacher, your counselor, your tutoring coordinator for your specific campus so you can learn what time and where to meet to receive these free tutoring opportunities.